If you are a gem hunter, a mineral collector, a gem cutter, a geologist, or a gem dealer, you want this. You will notice that there is a green piece of foam, and that is not there for aesthetic purposes, that is to protect the switch. So please make sure you remove that before trying to operate the flashlight. Once that is removed, it will be very easy to switch over the switch, and when you depress the trigger button on the side, you will be able to operate the flashlight. When the switch is off, it won't work. When it's on, it will work. The Noble flashlight can be used with two types of chargers. There are two models, and we will explain how they work now. They all do the exact same thing, but they have a few different particulars. This model, the CCTV.com charger, you will notice it has an indicator light that will flash. If it is not flashing, please make sure to press the trigger button to operate the flashlight, and that should get the indicator to begin flashing. This model, you simply plug and play, and you will notice that the green LED light will turn red. When the LED light turns red, it is charging. Now this is an incredibly powerful flashlight, and as such, it does get hot after prolonged use. So please make sure that you are using it for its intended use, not looking for your keys when you lose them under the couch. When storing the flashlight, please make sure that you flip the switch on top so that the trigger button does not accidentally get depressed. This immensely powerful torch has many uses, such as inspecting stones for color zoning. The directional properties of color in gemstones can be revealed by this torch. It's also useful for inspecting stones for fissures, such as seen in this stone here. Many crystal samples will seem clean to the eye until they are hit with powerful light, such as from the noble torch, and then those milky inclusions will be revealed. Needle-like inclusions are common in many gemstones, and they can often seem invisible, such as hollow growth tubes in aquamarine or other types of beryl. Cracks in many gemstones are also invisible and blend in with the surrounding crystal until you have powerful light shining upon them. When inspecting rough for purchase or for cutting, there are many crystal samples that will seem clean, but upon further inspection with powerful light, you will notice there are milky clouds in select parts of the crystal. Without that knowledge, you will not be able to get a clear idea of the yield of the gemstone. When faced with the hope of having a loop clean gemstone, Many of us jump on the opportunity to buy a crystal, but unless you inspect with a powerful light, you will not know that there are many transparent crystals inside of a sample. And while the uses with rough gems are plentiful, we can also use it for fasted gemstones to inspect the stone's clarity before we purchase. We always want to protect our investment. So whether you're buying rough or fasted gemstones, arm yourself with the tools that you need to make the best purchase you can.